Hey everyone and welcome back to Fiber by Nature and today we are going to be spinning some pineapple um, top um, and it's going to be a little bit different from what I've done before because I was taking it straight from the leaf. This is actually processed into um, a um, commercial top. So I got this at Maryland Sheep and Wool. Um, I'll link the video to that in the description and I'll also link um, the place that I got it from's website. It's called Feederbrook Farm in Maryland. Um, so I'm super excited to spin this. I've been waiting to spin this for a very long time. Um, and let's get started. Okay, so again, I've split this into um, thinner sections and it, um, not like the texture itself, but the fiber, it reminds me of silk because it gets all over the place like i don't know if you can see that but on my shorts it's all over. it sticks <laughs> so i'm going to just put the leader through the orifice and i'm going to thread it through this loop here and start spinning And again, this, um, it kind of, it actually feels very similar to when I spun flax. Um, it does have that kind of tough, um, stringy feel to it. So, I don't know. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to spin a little bit and I'll see you soon. So before um, we get started, I just wanted to show you a comparison of the yarn to the actual pineapple thread that I extracted from the actual leaf and scraped it and knotted it. Um, so this is the thread right here. I don't know if you can see that against my very gray shirt. Yeah, you can see that. Um, it's very fine. It's finer than a 40 wraps per inch. I don't think you can even see that. Um, which is really fine. Um, and then this is the yarn, which is um, a 14, like I just showed you. So there's the comparison to the thread and the um, yarn. So just wanted to show you a comparison so you get the idea of um, the difference because there is a big difference. Um, um, so the fiber is actually made from like scraping the leaf, like tearing down all the like layers of leaf and then they like process it into the top. I don't really know how it works, but something along those lines. So let's get back to spinning. <laughs>
I finished. This is the final skein. Um, let me tell you, it holds a lot of twists. Um, let me just undo this skein for you. Yeah, lots of twists. And um, I mean, I also kind of overspun it, I think, but once I wash it, it should come out. Um, but my final thoughts are, I do definitely kind of prefer this over the traditional method of doing pineapple because um, it's just a lot more time consuming. This, you just buy the fiber, start spinning, and voila. But with pineapple, you have to scrape the leaves, then you have to knot the threads together, and then it's just a whole long process. This is like fiber, spin, skein. That it's like scrape, knot for like a gazillion hours, skein. Um, but um, yeah, and let me tell you, it sheds a whole lot. Come on, why doesn't this come off? Like, it took more than four lint roller paper thingies to wipe all, or to roll all of the fiber off of my um, bed, because that's where I was spinning it. Just another thing to look out for is definitely keep it in one area and try not to get it all over your clothes and yeah it was a lot of lint rolling but in the end I'm really happy how the results came out it does kind of feel a little bit like flax um to give you an idea of what it feels like um it does feel like flax but in a way it's a lot smoother if that makes sense um Flax linen is the same thing. Um, so, yeah, this is the final skein. Um, I didn't plait because I think it's strong enough to hold, um, I think it's strong and thick enough to be on its own. So, um, to be a single. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!